Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. I hope you all are having a good morning or an afternoon or midday or evening or whatever time it is. It's morning for me. I'm drinking coffee out of my signature Coca-Cola mug. I'm pretty sure all of you have one weird mug that you like to use at your house. Mine is... There's a Coca-Cola mug and there's some weird Christmas mug that I use. But anyway, I'm drinking some coffee this morning. I hope y'all are having an awesome day, guys. Thank y'all so much for the amazing support on the ARC series and just on the channel in general. You guys are amazing. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe if you haven't done so already. So, I am loading up my dear friend Slave1 here because... I am doing gates today. Now, I know I've been kind of doing gates and stuff around, but we're almost finished. We're in the home stretch. So I just thought I would finish up with you guys on camera today and show you a little bit of progress I made. Yes, I do make progress off camera. I do play this. Uh, <laughs> I do play this when I'm not recording. Not all the time, uh, but enough of the time, I do suppose. Um, some folks were asking a little bit about vanilla and what... Uh, I think about doing more episodes and what's going to happen and why don't I make another vanilla episode explaining what's going on in vanilla and the truth is that I'm just kind of frustrated with it um, it's not to say I don't want to play vanilla anymore it's just to say that like I don't have any direction in the series you know what I mean like I don't have anything I want to do the update videos are okay with it but honestly I rather the high level ones on here and like I was saying it's like there's no direction. I have nothing. The raft base is, I mean, it could be more complete. Like I could do some walls and stuff like that or some more expansion, but to what end? Like there's nothing that I really want in vanilla. The PvP base thing, it's done. I got my Spinos in there. I know I haven't done an update on that, but it's like a two-minute segment. Like, okay, here's the Spinos that DMAG brought me. And I could do some more supplies and stuff like that. But a little while back, we had talked about... Let me let me just get some stuff done while I'm doing this. A little while back, we had talked about um, doing... A, a few viewers had suggested that maybe we can do, like, a day where we would do a battle... And just like destroy and wreck havoc everything that we wanted to do like an all-out war on the server or battles between people and then the next day we roll back so none of that is really like none of it <laughs> none of it goes away like we all save our progress and I thought that was pretty good because that means that we can use our prize dinosaurs that means that we can battle out of our own bases um, there's a ton that that means you know that means that if we make a thousand ammunition to battle with and we do that then we kind of don't have that going anymore so all that work and all that time is not just spent in a 15 minute battling spree you know so I think that's gonna be a good solution for vanilla I think um, and that means you will get some more vanilla episodes but as far as just the daily let's play stuff I don't really have much direction for it so I don't know I don't know more about that if y'all have some more uh, that y'all would like to say about it. I'd love to hear what you have to say. But that's just the direction I'm going in. Anyway, look at this. Look, 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 look. Oh, man. It's so gorgeous. I have a lot of walls up here, you guys. Now, I have a little problem. And that would be this. For some reason, my walls do not fit on the outside of this thing. Now, I could put them above. Or I could not put them at all. <laughs> um... I was thinking though, if I did a second story of glass walls on here, that it would almost line up with the uh, with the with the walls that are already there. So that might look pretty good, huh? I think that would look good enough. I really do. Um, I would have to kind of measure it out and see how many it would take, and that might also that might also mean that we should do one more level on the first floor making it four high and then another four high and then it might level out where the gates are at any rate i have eight gates left naturally my nose is gonna freak out while i'm doing this but uh it's early morning that's 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 what happens when you get old don't get old guys <laughs> i'm not old but my uh my sinuses are starting to wear out all right so i know y'all said these things snap and they do snap but sometimes i don't want them to snap uh i don't think it's worth it coming out to here 
because it's just like I ain't gonna put nothing in that space regardless so what I should probably do is put one like right about we should probably curve it just a little bit more right about here yes and then I can come back with some more like that okay um, hold on not K mode anymore all right you see that's no that's not a snap I thought it was a snap they do snap though I played with them quite a bit and they do snap and it looks good when they snap but uh, I have some really weird angles and stuff going on over here okay oh that was weird huh number two once again all right it's like I have to get in the K mode to get it just right because it's really really hard to determine whether it's touching or not all right that's good man we're almost all the way around actually you guys I don't I think I might have enough with this which is good because this project was expensive expensive <laughs> you ever seen the Dave Chappelle bid when he was talking about um, what was it he was I think he was talking about I plead the fifth one two three four fifth <laughs> hilarious anyway so I started playing around with my vibe yesterday and I gotta tell you I am it's amazing it's absolutely bananas like out of your mind nuts <laughs> so uh, I realized pretty quickly that I was going to need a wireless mic. So I went yesterday and got a wireless mic um, of the Shure brand. It's really, really good. Um, I am going to have to pick this one up and move it. Uh, yeah, it's a Shure mic. Um, a Shure presenter, I think it's called. I forget what the name of it is. But it's like the little... It's this thing. If y'all could see. Yeah, yeah. So... It's like a lapel mic or a lavalier mic is what they call it. And it has a base station right over there that plugs into my USB interface. And it sounds a lot better than what you would consider like, um, like a USB headset because it's not Bluetooth. So uh, it's really, really good in that matter. Although, I'm going to have to turn this a little bit more. Although I'm still trying to perfect the sound. I have an issue that an ongoing issue with my audio uh, that a lot of you don't realize that I have because I do a pretty good job at hiding it but sometimes it's evident and the reason why I'm just talking about it now is that it's really evident in the summertime basically my air condition unit is if this if my office is like this okay a square like this in the top right corner of that square or right in front of me diagonally there is an air condition unit a central air condition unit placed in my closet okay this thing really 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 makes a lot of noise and when I mean makes a lot of noise I mean like boom so it's 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 loud so basically what I have to do is I drape a quilt in between there and me that dampens that. In the other corner of the room, in the box, remember when I put them like I'm Vogan. Uh, 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 uh. Um, in the in the other corner of the room, there is a floor vent. Okay, this floor vent pretty much is like it's a rush of air, so it's the whole time. Now, that's the only air passages that come through my room is that door and that vent. So. In the summertime, which I live in Louisiana, right? So the summertime, it gets hot. <laughs> I mean, really, really freaking hot. And I am short on gates. So I have to block that air vent. And I also have to um, drape that thing down to where you don't hear that noise when the air conditioner is on. Two things bad about that. One, it gets extremely hot in here. Um... Or number two, if I decide to turn off the air condition, just let the cool air from the rest of the house seep in here, it gets hot pretty fast and the whole house and my family's uncomfortable, which ain't cool, you know? 
Um, my wife and my, my kid don't need to suffer for, <laughs> for my recording. So anyway, there's no real solution about that. I've done a lot of research um, about quieting vents, and I tried air deflection and a bunch of different things like that, and there's really no way to do it without getting into some ridiculously expensive um, deals, like changing, like actually cutting into the floor and stuff and changing out ductwork. Uh, let's see here. I am short. What am I short for more vent? Uh, vents. More fences. I am short crystal. Oh, that's no problem. We can go get a little bit of that. Um, so, yeah. Basically, what I need to do is. Did I. Where did. Oh, I was about to say, where did I leave slave one? Basically, what I need to do is. I need to get something that shields my microphone, which is right here uh, in the frame. It's right outside the frame. I need to get something that shields my microphone from that noise or separates me from that noise, separates the microphone from that noise. Now, there's a couple solutions that are available. Uh, namely, there is this cool little stuff called uh, acoustic foam. And you'll see it in a lot of other YouTubers' videos, like in a studio. It's basically, it looks like some gray type eggshell stuff. If you ever see, like, PewDiePie doing a, uh, a podcast or whatever, or doing a vlog, he's in this room, and it's full of it. It's, it's covered. So that's acoustic treatment. That's basically acoustic foam that um, it, it stops sound waves from getting out or going in like it's not soundproofing it's acoustic treatment there's it's two different things believe it or not but anyway what it does is it absorbs a lot of sound and by absorbing that sound if i had some of that between these two areas then it would be good so on my desk which is a 72 inch desk it's a pretty big desk i'm gonna build you ever seen a science project that it's like it's like a two-fold thing. They have two, like, hinged doors, like, half the size of the middle section, and it all folds together. So if I would put one of those on top of my desk, meaning there would be a big wall in between on the back side of my desk and two side walls, if I put one of those on top of my desk or surrounding my desk even, and the top of it would have acoustic foam, which would block that sound from coming in, I think I, should, I would be able to run my air conditioner without having that sound protrude. The other day I tried it with Maz. I didn't have the acoustic foam up. And when me and Maz recorded that video and he was like, man, you got a lot of white noise in the background. And it's because I tried, just because it was extremely hot that day. So yeah, it's kind of unfortunate that it's like that, but it is what it is. So I am going to continue to work on that and hopefully I'll get it done. Um, so I'm gonna try that out like, I don't know. Probably in the next couple of days. Mm. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Okay, so we've got... I'm going to probably need more crystal than this, too. We've got three more gates. <clears throat> I really think that three gates is not going to be enough. But I am going to put them up. Another thing I want to do is add lighting to this whole thing. Uh, there are quite a bit of different kind of lights. I don't know if I can mount those, uh, those cool, um, like, what, what, what kind of lights? What? Oh, it's a little bit off. Uh, those cool lights that have, like, the, um, not the hanging lights, but the wall lights that are used in my base. I'm going to try it. Okay, we've got one more. Yeah, that's close enough there. Okay. Saw how it wanted to snap there. That's probably good. Yep. I'm, I think I'm going to be like one or two short here. One or two short. That snaps. Yeah, that looks alright. Man. Yeah, we're one short. It's going to kind of overlap, I think, too. Let's see. We might as well bring this driftwood in here. If I hit it. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to be one short. So just a little bit of crystal, which I can get. That's no problem. I think that's what we're short on is crystal. That's what we were short on last time. Let's take a look. Actually, I'm just going to go grab some crystal. There's some a little bit further out here on the... 
I think it's out here. Hmm. Yeah, there's some right here. I know where all the crystal's at. I know where it's all at. Okay. There we go. I know I'm full. It's okay. I'm about to dump it all. So yeah. The original plan of having stuff roaming around collecting resources is not practical, guys. Because if you park Dodocurus and stuff up here, they'll do all the stone resource mining that you need. Um... Then, as far as the um, as far as the metal is concerned, the Anklo can really get a lot when he's parked next to a metal vein. And passively, if I got one more Anklo and put it against that other metal, and one more Anklo and put it against that other metal, and harvested those a few times a day, man, <laughs> you talk about more metal than I can ever use. Well, maybe not more, but it adds up. I mean, it's significant after a little while. I mean, basically, you just... Because I can double the raw metal that I get with um, with the uh, all the other tools that I have, it works out good. Okay, we're actually short on metal. I didn't even need that. That's a problem because... <laughs> Hold on. I might have some metal stored up in here. Metal. Oh, we're so close, man. Okay. I do have some raw in there. Here is nine. I don't know if that's gonna cut it. <laughs> uh, oh, 292. We're saved. We're saved. Okay. If I can get around here. Uh, there we go, finally. Okay. Bam. And fences. One more. That's all we needed. And 222 metal to spare. Pretty good. Pretty good. Alright. Another thing we're going to have to do is, like I said, those lights. So, let's take a look. I think I have some of those lights already done. Do I not? Uh, what are they called? Lamps? Light? Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see. I have... Yeah, these black wall lamps. I don't know if they'll attach, but I'll bring them out and see what we can do. I'll even bring this one to see if for some reason it attaches. Uh, if not, we're going to need to possibly hide some of those uh, those standing lamps in there. You know what I mean? Let's. In fact, let me make another lamp, standing lamp. Like the, the nightstand lamps. These right here. <laughs> Nightstand with lamp. If I could hide it, that's all I care about, right? Okay. This place is going to look crazy at night, man. It's going to be all lit up and stuff. It's going to be cool. All right. I got my fence. <clears throat> I didn't like the way that I had to go up around here, like on the back side, but it's better than, it's better than not having it enclosed. And the rest, I guess next episode we'll probably build the second story of that, um, of my other little deal. This is going to look really, really janky, I think. But it's pretty much all I could do. It's not that bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. But there's not much I could do about it. Okay, so, right over here where we have, like, I will say the show side of everything... Let's see if I can put any of those lights. All right. We've got a couple that I can try right here. Okay. So we got wall lamps. We've got the regular lamps. And we've got the hanging lamps. Let's start with the hanging lamps. The hanging lamps will not mount that I can tell. It does not look like they will mount to anything here. Okay. The side lamps does not look like they mount here either now I could put pillars and stuff like that but why is that's the whole question if I can place some of these like inside which they don't go inside I thought I could hide them and it would be cool 
but I really can't. <laughs> like they don't, they don't go. I could put them on the outside, but it would look ridiculous. Okay, so what can I do right here? If I did, don't I have a no clip? Uh, hold on. I think I have a non-collision bench here. Yeah, NC Smithy. Okay, uh, we'll put some stone in here, some wood, some thatch, and let's see. NC. Maybe I don't even have the Ingram set for it. NC. Um, an NC stone pillar is what I need. Oh, we don't need. Oh, that's NC Smithy is actually only for metal items. That's why the <laughs> that's crazy. I don't know what's wrong with my brain this morning. Uh, NC stone pillar. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so if NC stone pillars, uh oh, who's fighting? If NC stone pillars do what I think they're going to do, it should be fine. It looks like my security system has taken down whatever the threat was. Whatever it is. <laughs> anyway, all right. So, NC stone pillar, if I was to put one like right here, I can put it where it doesn't clip. I mean, where it clips just like that. Okay, let's just see. And now I should be able to hang a light on it. I can. So that's a pretty good solution. That's probably a pretty good solution here. That's not what I want. I want... Now it's going to be very hard to actually turn this on. Because it wants the behemoth fence gate thing. Hold on. Behemoth fence. Behemoth fence. I might have to come out a little bit more. In fact, what if I, I know it would take a lot more work here, but what if I just did like, okay, let's pick this up. Can I not? Yeah, it's inside, man. It won't let me. That really sucks. Uh, Pick up black wall lamp. Demolish this. What I can do is I should be able to place these on top. So let's just say I put one right there and turned it on. Okay. Let's just do a for instance here. And let's take the two gates that I just picked up. And we can place one. It's very important that we just cover that up pretty much all the way here. Uh, is that, that is not the way I had this before. Pick up. Let's try it again. I think I'm going to have to turn it just a little bit more too. Like so. Okay. And I should just be able to place another one too. So that might be what it involves you guys. If I put one in every joint, wow. If I put one in every joint, now I can't access, I can't see it at all, but it's going to shed light. So that should work for what I want to do. I'm going to have to mess around with it a little bit, but I'll tell you what. We're pretty much out of time for the episode, but what I'm going to start doing is collecting a lot, making up a bunch of those lights and starting replacing them inside these gates. And next time we come back, we'll see how they look at night. Plus, we'll do a second story on the museum and talk about some decor in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me some dab on that like button to show you support. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, you can subscribe for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.